Um, I think it's because you don't have to, you don't have to really think about anything. You can just, no one's like great at poetry. It's like, you, you don't always have to have a talent at it. You can just write whatever you want. It's free. You can be creative. No one like can criticize you. Actually, one of the poems in this book, last year I wrote it when I was in fifth grade and my teacher said it didn't make sense. And she said it was, I don't remember exactly, but she said it didn't make sense. And I still wrote it and I still continued it and I submitted it and it was in the book and my book won second place. So I don't think poems have to make sense. Like they're just, they resemble something. I don't think they have to make sense. Well, I just love the feeling that you get when you finish a story. And I mean, there's just a million things I love about writing. Um, but just the entire thing. I love everything that encompasses writing, really. Um, well, I have a very, I've had, like, when I was younger, I had a very active imagination. I was always playing my games, and I never needed toys. I could just play with my imagination, and I find writing is a way to, like, put my, like, show my imagination and show my games, space, kind of like my games to other people, and I also find it, like, an escape, um, from reality, I can just write about stuff and I can write about anything I want. I can write my anger down and I can write my sadness down and I can write about some somebody like me or somebody completely different from me and imagine I'm them. And I just, yeah. yeah I was so nice. Um, my favorite thing about writing must be that you can, well, with fiction, you can write about whatever you want to write about. Mm -hmm. And like, you can like put your feelings into it in nonfiction. You can also like share facts with the world. Like, um, I just like being able to like go, if it's like fictional, like go into a different world and just let my imagination run wild and just go. Um, and even if it's not fictional, I just like, this sounds kind of weird, but I love writing essays. Okay. Um, people are always like, what, how? But I just, I just love writing. I like thinking about things in a way I might not have thought of them before. And I think that's really fun. Um, I think my favorite thing about writing is um, designing the characters okay. and the plot of the story. The way you can sort of share your thoughts and ideas and imagination and things like that on well you can put them all onto paper and then sometimes you can share them and other people can see things like that like, um descriptive words like mm -hmm. they if I read a book and it says there was a there was a large grassy field with um with a slight breeze in the air uh, and two people were walking across the vast plain um I guess I can picture it I can picture it really well. Um, I when I'm writing stories I feel like I'm living in it so it's like sort of just writing about things I don't know I really like that. And then also just taking stuff from my life and putting it in there. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, I like how you can just think of stuff and write about them. My favorite thing about writing is, I once wrote this poem called The Storyteller and it was basically just, it's published on the Stone Soup blog and it's just, about a man and he is writing and he's a writer and he is just exploring this world he has created and I would say that that is one of my favorite things about writing. I love that you can, I love the sense of artistic freedom you get from writing. When you're, when you're writing you can make it whatever you want, you can do whatever you want, you get a sense of perception just looking down at this all new world, that's just so amazing about writing. And mm -hmm. One, an author I have taken an online class from, Margaret Atwood, she, I have not read from her yet as I'm kind of out of that age group, but she's very amazing. 
And she once said that writing is, as a writer, you are just, you are like a composer. You are writing a piece with blank black and white notes, but it is the pianist who plays the music or you who plays the music who brings that to life. And in that case, the readers. <laughs> so I love sharing my stories with others and Stone Soup and my family, they really have encouraged I've read it at a very early age and they really have encouraged the power of words and the power of stories in the household. William and Sarah and Jane, they really have enforced that through Stone Soup. And I have to say, that's my favorite thing about writing, artistic freedom and just knowing that you can do whatever you want and it's just absolutely boundless.